Welcome to this Battle of the Booty. It's time to see which lady can put the ass in badass. Let's answer the question. Who is thicker? Everyone. I've come to a tragic realization. I am very unoriginal. As of this moment, I've only made seven Who is Thicker videos, and three of them have characters who come from the same universe as the matchup. Uh, wait a second. Samus and Wii Fit Trainer have both appeared in Smash Bros. And Chun-Li and Mai have both appeared in Capcom vs. SNK! So technically, five of my now seven Who is Thicker videos feature characters that have appeared in the same universe! I- uh, the whole reason I'm doing themes for each matchup was so I didn't just pick characters from the same universe to go against each other in every video. If I did that, it would look lazy and uninspired. Yes, I want my series about discussing the asses of fictional female characters to have artistic integrity, thank you very much. Alright, alright, I'm gonna do Pyra vs. Mithra because it was highly requested, but expect different universe matchups for the next few videos. I want to surprise you guys with each matchup and get you HYPED! And now that I've wasted all the time I had for the intro on this dumb rant, I'm gonna talk about Pyra and Mithra at the same time! We're taking risks with this episode, let us do it! Pyra and Mithra. I'm not even really sure where to start with this one. I mean, normally I talk about story and game stuff, but honestly, everything surrounding these two is much more interesting to discuss. Ah, uh, you know, their extreme popularity, their waifu status, quote-unquote, the controversy of their designs, them being in Smash somehow. Trust me, it's better I talk about this than, uh, my god, 14 hours! Xenoblade Chronicles. Honestly, I'd say Pyra and Mithra have become the mascots of Xenoblade Chronicles. I mean, tell me, who here remembers the events of XC1? Oh, and I'm gonna call it XC now, so I don't have to say Xenoblade Chronicles a hundred more times. <laughs> Actually, looking back, it's not surprising that when people think of XC, they think of Pyra and Mithra. I mean, look at these XC1 sales numbers versus these XC2 sales numbers. Then again, the first game was a brand new IP for the 3DS, and then you follow that up with a release on the Wii U, and yeah, it's no wonder why these were the results. How much you want to bet that people know Shulk more from Smash than from XC1? That's the level we're talking about here. Actually, having looked at the sales numbers, it makes sense why Pyra and Mithra were in Smash. I mean, when you sell this many copies and you make your rounds across the internet, you know you've struck gold. And when I say make your rounds, I mean anything and everything. People who love the game, people who hated the game, people who make memes, people who argue they were over-sexualized, people who, uh, uh, grow corn, lots of corn, you know what I mean. And so it was that Pyra and Mithra were officially entered into the Nintendo Officially entered into the Nintendo Officially entered into the Nintendo And so it was that Pyra and Mithra were officially entered into the Nintendo Waifu Pantheon Where they would forever live out their days being remembered as characters that were once popular and then never thought about again I mean in that regard Pyra and Mithra have gone through a similar arc to that of Lady Demetresque from RE Village Characters hyped and loved to the moon and back and then swiftly forgotten about shortly thereafter. I mean, does anyone even talk about Lady Demetress these days? And outside of their Smash trailer, who the hell talks about Pyra and Mithra? Hell, when XC3 was coming out, did anyone talk about Pyra and Mithra? No, they're just flash in the pan characters that were either loved or hated and then got pushed aside for the next waifu of the week. I mean, I guess maybe they might appear in XC3's DLC or something, but uh, I do doubt they'll ever return to the height of their popularity when XC2 is still new. Just the way the internet works. However, with that said, given this matchup was highly requested, and I don't want to bore you with history and such any more than I already have, let's talk about the booty. Pyra vs. Mithra has the same problem as Peach vs. Daisy. While technically different, they are pretty much the exact same body-wise. I mean, I know that the most common notion on the internet is that Pyra has da booty and Mithra has da bobas, but let's really think about it. So, Pyra is the nicer, more affable individual, and Mithra is the more brash and tough individual. And yet Pyra is wearing booty shorts, and Mithra is wearing a dress! Oh yeah, right, speaking of, to anyone who got genuinely offended by these fictional non-human anime characters having big bobas and designs like this, I respect your valid opinion, but uh, maybe there are more important things in the world to care about than the designs of characters in a B-tier Nintendo franchise sequel? You know, I'm sorry, uh, some women just have big boobs and a big ass. I know that must be really hard for you to understand, but I'm just saying. And that's not even mentioning the story and character arcs for these characters. I mean, some of them are genuinely sad and have deep emotional roots. And you're telling me that's invalid because they look like this? Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> uh, and I've gone off on another tangent. This isn't ramblings. Well, my general criteria for what constitutes being thick is a culmination of size, design, and personality, in which case Pyra and Mithra pretty much complement each other in each and every way. Same body type with different minds, both fun and cool in their own way. 
You know what? Seeing as how Pyra and Mithra probably won't stand the test of time as the internet moves along, and seeing as how this is my show, I dare say today might just be the day where I hereby declare... A tie! Pyra and Mithra win! I think that's the best decision here. Well damn, I don't think I said anything worthy enough to be considered the quote of the episode. So to finish this video off, I'll say something stupid and then show some XC2 clips of Nia, who I've decided is my favorite character because she has the best accent ever. <coughs> my name is Xanth Darko, and I speak for the booty. <laughs> hey, Nia, I just found the shiniest trinket. You want to see? Hey. Nia? Yeah, yeah, I'll check it out later. You're such a child sometimes. Uh, Rex, are you alright? You didn't hurt anything, did you? I'm fine, really. It's hardly even a bruise. Oh. Nia, thank you for fighting to keep Rex safe. I I'm not doing it for him. Good, Nia. Make sure to keep Rex focused. Don't you worry, Gramps. Yeah, he's got some real potential. Hey, you too, Nia. Come rest your head on my lap if you like. Why don't you rest your head in your ass? Oh! <laughs>